Oh yes, here we are back at it again with some more racing for the uh, the 21st day in a row, well, actually more than that, 20, I think it's the 24th day in a row with a stream or a video. I'm playing Grand Prix 4 again, I, I really liked Grand Prix 4 the other day when we did the first race of the season, so I'm going to do some more of it. I don't think it's saved our progress in game, so it, it tried to get me to do the Australian Grand Prix again. But it's okay because I've got an Excel document with all the standings and all that. So it's not the end of the world. Um, how's everybody doing today? It's the weekend. You're watching. If you're watching this and not the 24 hours a day, Tony, you're a real viewer. True. I'm watching this. I would have done um, the 24 hours a day, Tony. I don't have any teammates, though. So. Shame. I really wanted to do it, but I'm sure I'll do some other of the iRacing special events as the, uh, as the year goes on. Yeah, la I remember last year I said to myself, I'm going to do all the iRacing special events and I ended up doing none of them. And then this year I said, I'm going to do all the iRacing special events and so far I have done none of them. It's, it's, hot. it's easy to say you're going to do them all, but then you don't have your team, like you don't have teammates. I don't have people I know that play the game you know oh well it doesn't matter if it's any of the solo events I could do them I just can't do any of the the interesting ones the endurance events I, I quite like endurance racing I don't think James June is really cut out for endurance racing it's you know I mean he sleeps half the time he's in the background anyway is James early the prosh dive still in no although I remember everybody was... Well, not everybody. I spelled Thomas Eng's name wrong because I was in a rush when I changed his name from James Early. So I spelled it as... I'd spell Thomas, obviously not Thomas. That's okay. Saving the energy for F1 Challenge League racing. Okay. Okay, Dom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> you have fun, Dilbo. Have fun doing your homework. Um, Let's have a look at some of the... Uh we got driver profile. Your last name is Eng. Very nice. This is this is the points we got from 2001 Australian Grand Prix. Out qualifying the teammate. Did Alonso achieve that in real life? Yes. Did we achieve that? No. Our racing teammate. Did Alonso achieve that in real life? Yes. Did we achieve that? Yes, we did. Qualifying position in a real life. Alonso got 19th. We got 22nd. So no point for that. Race position in real life, Alonso 12th place. We got 11th place, we got a point there. Gap to leader in qualifying in real life, 3.7 seconds in the game, 14.4. <laughs> but we all know what happened. It was the rain. Gap to leader in the race was exactly the same as real life. So we got three out of six points. So we got 50% of the points from that. So we're on three out of six points for the season score. I'm happy with that. Anything above 50% I think is pretty good. But yeah, nice. Blink twice. But Wolf, if I'm blinking twice right now, you can't see. <laughs> Whoops. News. Oh, I'm not even... I'll move over here for you so you can see me. If I'm sitting normally, I'm almost off the, sh off the screen. Look at these selection of... Where are we? Selection of pictures from the Malaysian Grand Prix. A number of mechanical gremlins limited Alonso's running in practice. This is for the Malaysian Grand Prix in real life. This was then followed by a fuel pump failure during practice... Not practice, that's for, for in warm-up. Which led to the Spaniard using his, the spare car, which was set up for his teammate Marquez. During the race, there was a big downpour on lap two, but both Minardis made it through to the finish. Alonso finishing ahead of his teammate Marquez and three laps down on the race winner. Fernando Alonso was classified in 13th place, which was seen as another solid result for the Spaniard. With his teammate Marquez in 40, there was only 14 drivers who finished. And most of the retirements in that race came from drivers spinning off on lap three because of the rain. Marquez better than Marquez. Confirmed. Yes. Um, we have drivers' championships. Standings. Bicker Hakkinen leads the way. This is in our, our season, not in real life. Michael Schumacher second. We have both Jordans scoring points. Kimi Raikkonen scored points on his debut as well. Jack Villeneuve picking up points for BAR. Very nice. We are... 11th after an 11th place finish very nice I, I enjoyed that race as well 
Oh, actually, I enjoyed most of the race and then I kind of messed up loads of different things. John a lazy top. Did I did I spell it John a lazy? Oh, I thought I thought I thought I spelled another name wrong. McLaren lead the way. Jordan second with the long distance. Benson and Hedges, Jordan Honda. Very long name. You're just having a laugh. Oh my gosh. Brilliant. Minardi, eighth. We're ahead of Williams. Confirmed better than Williams in 2001. So that's good. I quite like Malaysia. I don't know what it's going to be like on this game, but we'll give it a go. In fact, we can just get into the game now. Let's get into the game. Let's get into practice. I'm going to do practice. Friday free practice. No rain. Okay, let me try and remember all the controls. So that goes up. Fuel. We'll go nine, 10 laps. Wait, this is Australia. Why is it Australia again? Why is it Australia? Where's Australia gone? Why, why, why is it Australia again? Well, I've already done Australia. Do you, no, we don't want... Why is it on... It should be Sepang, Malaysia. Why is it... Sepang, Malaysia. Right? That's Sepang, Malaysia. Why would it go back? Why would it go back to Australia? If you go back and watch the last stream, you'd see I, it's, it's Australia again. You would have seen I saved the championship when we left the game. So I saved it. There's no reason for it to be Australia again. Unless I need to like load my uh, stream. Ah, do I need to load this? But it says championship season Melbourne. Oh no, we're here. Next Grand Prix. Ah. Done. Very strange. You have to load it on the main menu. Sepang! It's Malaysia! Boom! There we are. Which position is early? Early doesn't exist here. It's Fernando Alonso. Of course. Bad at technology. I'm a boomer. Confirmed. <laughs> James Early the boomer. Sepang is really tough in this game. Oh boy. Okay, let's have a look. Let me leave the pits. Ah yes, my chief mechanic and my other mechanic are twins. With the biggest forearms in human history. Clear! Clear. It's my teammate coming out as well. Yes, he is. I can see him in the mirrors. He's going faster than me down the pits, uh, pit lane. Smooth graphic. The game's not very smooth today. It feels like it's about 10 FPS. Let me see if I can... Sometimes if I pause and unpause, it fixes the uh, FPS. And it does. Very nice. Bloody hell. That's a line and a half. So Alex Young's actually racing his home Grand Prix. That's quite nice. Turns five and six. Oh. Got an Arrows behind me. I think it's Verstappen and a Jordan. I'd rather them they all go past me. I might just let them through. Hey Fabio, hello Josh, hello John. Streamline livery, soon. Quite excited to make the 96 livery. Oh gosh. 
Go on, you get past as well. Is it Villeneuve or pa it's Panis? Go on, mate. Bloody hell. Why is there so many cars on track? Can they all just go past? Oh, I decided the chassis. No. Not yet. All I've done is just some Photoshop work. This isn't my usual view. No. But I can't look behind. There's no button to look behind. That's easy to reach for me. And I need the mirrors. So, cockpit cam it is. I haven't actually tested the mod yet, Dom, the one that you sent me. But I will, eventually, of course. Cool stroll. C and X. Shall I try that now? Oh, cry. Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. Miles per hour. Yeah, I um, I thought I set it to, to kilometers an hour, but it doesn't really matter. If I had a nice offset T cam and I could see the mirrors or look behind button on my steering wheel, that'd be nice. I bet an offset T-cam on this game would look very nice. Well, I am streaming at 30 FPS. I always do. Um, but on my game, it's 60. Right now. Buttery smooth at the moment. Where can we find Grand Prix 4? I just watched some German tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> A buttery smooth 30 FPS. Oh yeah. You've arrived. Welcome to the stream. Oh, it's feeling quite nice so far. In real life, Alonso had a lot of mechanical gremlins in in the practice sessions. I think he had like two fuel pump issues, some engine issue, fuel pump again in the warm-up. I remember my, um, my first ever laptop, I was trying to play Minecraft, and it ran at 3 FPS. But when you went underground, go mining, it went up to 7 FPS. Oh yeah. It was great. So I'd have to go on Task Manager, give it high priority. You know, just for those extra 2 FPS. What has happened in the race currently? Oh, this is practice. We're just in practice. Yeah, when we're talking buttery smooth 30 FPS, we mean butter that's been kept in the freezer. Frozen solid. We're really good in that first sector, only a tenth and a half down. Two, seven, and eight. Bit of a too tight of a line. Into the hairpin of nine. This is when it gets tricky. These corners. Say through intermediate two. How far down are we? 
Yeah, two and a bit seconds. To be expected. The, the car got really light there. Through that left-hander. Like it was almost stepping out. Okay, when you guys play a game, what sort of FPS are you happy with? I guess it depends on the game, but like as a general term, what FPS are you looking for in a game? 2.6 off now. Hey, Bar, how you doing, mate? We'll come into the pits this lap. 60 to 120. Okay. I think I'm mainly looking for 60. I can play anything above 30, really. I think below that, it starts to hurt my eyes and makes me feel quite motion sick. Just because my brain's not used to that anymore. Of course, back in the day, I used to play games on very low FPS. better that's nice young's home grand prix yeah i noticed young didn't actually compete in his home grand prix in real life did he because it was marquez in the car at that point unless i'm mistaken no it's mark it was definitely marquez which is kind of funny they hire a malaysian driver as but he's not actually competing in his home grand prix oh that that corner is a difficult one Thomas Eng replace. No, Thomas Eng's still in. I, I spelled his name wrong. Where's the pit lane entry? Here. Ah. So when does the pit lane actually begin? Here. Is this us? Yes. Oh, yes. That's me. Oh, you mean in real life? Um, I know Thomas Aang was in the Prost car at the end of the season. I was too young to compete in the home ground. But, um, no steering problems. I'm, I've not experienced any steering problems yet. Of course, I've only ever done one race on this. Well, two, I suppose. Okay, I'm happy with our practice. Time for qualifying, I reckon. Sad that you can't see the standings in practice. Dry qualifying. We might actually do okay, dry qualifying. Here we are. We're number 20 and Alex Young's 21, but I'm pretty sure Alex Young replaced Marquez, who was number 20, and Fernando Alonso was number 21. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, if I, uh, I'm going to sim forward to 50 minutes into the session. Well, not 50 minutes into it, 10 minutes in. We'll go out there now. Michael Schumacher at 35-2 right now. Well, I think we can get 37 something. Hello, Julian. Look at the crowd. They're going wild. Look at those. Look at those 10 FPS flags. Somebody's waving a yellow flag and a green flag. It's quite funny. Okay. Let's go. Somebody coming down the main straight behind. Was Bertie Italian? That's kind of funny if Thomas Eng replaced Bertie for the Italian Grand Prix. Uh, 
Roman Stanek. He's in, uh, is he F2? But he was Brazilian. Ah, okay. Is his family Italian? Nice and wide. Now let this salva through. It's massa. No, it's not massa. Of course, it's not Heidfeld. <laughs> massa. So I got a comfortable download link. I, like I said, I just followed some tutorial on YouTube. Like the first link I saw, some German guy. Okay, here we go. First lap. Let's go by Ashi. That's what the wiki says. Ah, okay. I do love a good bit of Wikipedia. Wikipedia, what a fantastic invention for the internet. I mean, I know there's like encyclopedias, book form and stuff, but Wikipedia, what a great use of the internet. Oh, that's why you got replaced. Ah, okay. Your wheel seems very mismatched. Oh, yeah, the in-game wheel never matches up to your actual wheel. It doesn't matter, though. I never really look at the wheel. I'm just looking at the lines I'm taking. There's no hands in copy view. Whenever I get the chance in the game to turn off hands, I always turn off hands. I hate having hands on. So anything like Automobilista or R-Factor or anything, I always turn the hands off. Because it's annoying having the hands there when I've already got hands in real life. But sometimes I don't turn the steering wheel off if I get the option to. Because I think the steering wheel gives me a good reference. Early doesn't like hands. James Early doesn't like hands. James Early is ableist. We go for back to back flying laps here. I'm not that bothered about matching it up, honestly. Doesn't it doesn't bother me that much. That doesn't bother me at all, actually. Oh dear, bit wide. Yeah, I turn off steering wheel and hands in real life, yeah, definitely. It's really hard to see that final corner with the shade. So I completely missed the corner there. So it's going to be a 137.5. 13th place, 2.2 seconds off. That's good. Back to the, is it shift Q? There we go. We're 13th right now, ahead of Frentzen, who's, he's in the Prost, isn't he? Yeah, Prost. Can we see the rest of the times? Is that a thing we can do? Well, 
140.2 in real life for Alonso. Oh, well, we're way past that. What was the pole time in real life? Got to be quite quick, right? I know in real life Alonso was like five seconds off. 135.2. And he's got 135.2 here. Wow. Okay. So, I'm better than Alonso. At least we, uh, we've we learnt that today. Let's simulate about 20 minutes. I'm 15th now. Eddie Irv I'm still ahead of Eddie Irvine. Frenson's gone ahead of me. Let's see if we can see the rest of the order. Oh, we can. Oh, wait. Use session times. Alex Young's got a 39.7. He's 2.2 seconds off me. These guys have got to go quicker. So yeah, Thomas Hanks spelt wrong. Sorry, ignore that, please. I am on ace difficulty. So it's not nothing. It's not a difficulty thing. Oh, I get it now, Tom, because your name's Tom. I should make a David Coulthard, make a hacking in. Ruben's down in sixth right now. The two Williams there, fourth and fifth. Two BARs in the top ten. Interesting. Interesting. Let's return to the cockpit, please. Let's go out there again. Called Thard spelled wrong. True. David called Thard, the legendary Scotsman, who everybody loves. Nobody dislikes Cool Thard. We can see the pit request thing now. I'm zoomed out enough to see it. Gunter, no, you don't. You love him. Oh, nice pit lane speed limiter is not on. Not that it matters. I don't think you can even get a speeding penalty. I was coming down the main straight. That is a very interesting line. Cool thoughts a guy you can either hate or love. Nothing in between. See, I don't agree because I think he's okay. Like, I don't hate him. I don't love him. <laughs> I don't really have strong opinions on people or drivers or anything, really. I'm not an opinionated person. I just kind of live. I exist. Things happen around me. Fernando Alonso is more annoying than Coulthard. Yeah. So I am boring. No, I wouldn't say I'm boring at all. I'd say I'm very interesting. Oh no, I can't say that myself. I, do, I find myself interesting. That's what matters, really. Doesn't matter what other people think. Okay, here we go. I don't think an interesting person is made up of an opinionated person. You can have strong opinions and be very boring. I know a lot of people with strong opinions that are very boring. Thanks, Tom. That means a lot, man. It's a personal attack. Not you specifically, John. I was thinking of people at university. I, I have this one... I don't know if anybody's watching from my university right now. So I'm not going to say. Just in case. There's this one person I have in mind. Who's very opinionated and very annoying. But incredibly boring. Mainly boring because any of their interests or hobbies I don't find interesting. Which I suppose makes them boring. 
That's what we're... Oh, they're not my mates. It's the person I, I don't... I, I actively dislike, I'd say. I assume I could have gone quicker. This feels like a very tidy lap, but I don't know if I'm improving. What makes an interesting person? It's honestly personal preference. Okay, one tenth down on our best. I think an interesting person to me is somebody who's charismatic, who knows how to carry a conversation, who knows how to listen, who likes to tell stories, who has hobbies and interests that you share. Basically, I'm just, I'm just describing myself. I'm only joking, but... That's why that's why I'd look for in an interesting person. As somebody who has had experiences that you've not had but you aspire to achieve, I think that can make somebody quite interesting. I hate Among Us. Can display more info with the GPX patch. Yes, I know. Although I have the perfect amount of info right now. I don't don't think I'd add anything. Got the timing at the bottom. Got my position. Got my fuel. Got what lap I'm on. Got my speed. I don't know what else I'd add. Do I have friends or are they paid actors? Well I don't pay them. They just kind of they just kind of hang around. Oh, that's a nice last corner. Down towards the line. Alonso is at pole position. No. 37-2. We're within two seconds of pole. We are fast. So they're free actors. Yeah, they're just they're just doing it for a work experience. You just played Among Us, but watching me is the best. Thank you. My ego really needed that today. <laughs> Coulthard was food. It would be avocado. I've never had avocado. You know what happened the last time I had a tidy lap? Are you, th are you talking about that, um, that YouTube short I made about a year ago? This is quite a tidy lap. And then I crashed into a wall. <laughs> How much did I finish for Custom F1 Season 96? Not much. It's probably a couple of weeks away at least. Hello, Benjamin. Welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome. Truman Show. That's a good movie. So we're 14th right now. Wow. We're so good. Suppose I can go out with like five minutes left. Maybe now. Still 14th. I'm just going to... I'll just go out. Three actors as well. Everybody's an actor. Let's go. It's clear. It's clear. Go, go, go. It doesn't seem like any of the drivers come out at the end of the session. One challenge is looking different. I know. It's almost like it's not F1 challenge. That mechanic is a weird face. John, you can't say that, mate. That's that's really, really mean. 37 flat possible? Definitely. This car just is fun to drive.
London 2012 game is fun. If anybody's played that. Summer Athletics 2009 for the Nintendo Wii was uh, one of the games in history. This Minardi into a Winardi. Oh yeah. What difficulty is on whatever the hardest is. Ace or whatever it is. But it's a base game. I know base game hardest difficulty isn't that hard apparently. So I've heard. Mid Ardy. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. Slightly stepping out. That's okay. Head up to the hill towards turn four. Heavy on the brakes. 90 degrees right. Intermediate one. Where are we? Down by three and a half tenths on Michael Schumacher. There's five and six. Ringing the Minardi's neck. Which is okay because we, we have permission. The hairpin of turn nine. Difficult braking. And now for the off camber corners. Missed one apex. Hey George, it's going well, mate. Uh, and that's a mistake. We got one more lap, I think. You're hungry because of Spinardi. What? <laughs> I mean, there are hills nearby where spectators watch from. They could have. Incorporated some hills into this layout. Chances are they had to flatten some land to make this circuit anyway. Right, one more lap, I think we have. Bit deep into turn one. We're up on Schumacher's time through the first sector. This is really... What, what did you just say? Two minutes remaining. Okay. Copy that, Jeff. Why is this lap really, really good? We're only down by a second. This is... What a fantastic lap this has been. One more corner. Down towards the line. It's a 36-1. Okay. Got to up the difficulty. Oh, wait, I can't. Wow. Okay. Um, we're in a Minardi. But it is what it is. Maybe higher difficulty. Dilbo, there is no higher difficulty. We're on the highest. <laughs> Brave place. It's just natural talent. Natural talent. That's how, That's what it is. Schumacher pole. David Coulthard second. Hacken in third. Montoya. Ralph. Barrichello down is sixth. He's... Six and a half tenths off. Very slow. 
Yano Trulli seventh, followed by Alon Alonso. Who improved by 1.1 seconds in his final run. Lazy Villeneuve, Panis, Heidfeld. De La Rosa there in 14th. Frentzen in 15th place. Eddie Irvine, Fisichella, Button, Verstappen. Thomas Eng, spelt wrong, sorry. Enrique Bernaldi, Alex Young. Pff, rubbish. Alex Young, three seconds slower than his teammate. Three and a half seconds slower. Oh my gosh. Race time? Is there, is there wet weather? Look at the Minardi. <gasps> Look at him. Look at his beautiful. Why isn't James Early racing? Good question. Where is James Early in all this? Who's Thomas Heng? It's going to rain. Is, is it starting as rain or... I can't tell. Does that mean it's raining right now? Or does that mean it's cloudy with sun? But it's... What? Rain at start. So do we start on the wets? Or whatever? I'm really confused. The track wet at the start. So we just start on the inters, yeah? Indication of track wetness. Oh, I see. So it is one out of three track wetness. So, yeah, light. Is that light blue? The light rain, light, 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 light. Light rain throughout the race, pretty much. The track is moist. So, we start on intermediates. Do I have a wet... Shall we put the wet setup on? Do I dare change that? The music just suddenly ended. That, that's not a good sign. Custom. Go lap 18, lap 30. So yeah, that's fine. I'll set it on automatic. Intermediate tyres. I'm just going with dry qualifying. I don't really... don't think it's going to make much of a difference to me. I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. I'm going racing. Why quality setup? Uh, because we always run on a quality setup. In fact, we can't even have the uh, the race setups anymore. It's dry qualifying or wet qualifying. I can't change. We could a second ago, but we can't now. Okay, whatever. Let's go. I'm not going to spin. I'll be fine. <gasps> They're all on dries. Can I pause? Is that paused? Yeah. So can I say, I'm going to save the line. I'll save the line. Just because I feel like it. It is paused. Now I've got 26 laps of fuel on board. I thought they were doing 17 laps of fuel. Oh, whatever. So, there's only one more thing to do, and that's go racing. The 2001 Malaysian Grand Prix is next. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go racing. So now we're unpausing. Everybody's on the dry compound, and we're on the intermediates. Hello, Retro. Yeah, this is going to go terribly. Oh! It put the speed limiter on again. What? What? 
Can, how do I restart? Is that a thing? Oh, shut up. Try and get back. Should have saved the game after qualifying. You have to save the game after qualifying? Why is that a thing? Why don't it just save your progress? I have broken my front wing. Yeah. Oh, somebody's off. Can we see a replay of that? Let's pick and see a replay. Um, how do we get back on the replay? Is that thing we can do? What the frick are you doing? You've all got lag. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Look at that. We got pissed not requested then. You back? Are we still lagging or what? I'll wait for you guys to come back. I see this now, Dilbo. No lag. Good. Right, so who's my nearest competitor now? Oh, I can, yes, because I've enabled this thing. I can change on boards during the race when it's paused. So we need to pick, look at them all. Oh, some of them are on the, uh, what tyres is that? Is that the, what tyres are those? They're inters, right? I've got the same. There's some on soft, some on inters. Oh, what are they? Are they wet? Is the arrows on wet tyres? Some on wet, some on inters, some on dries. That's a, that's a massive mixture. Yeah, well, okay. Right, back to me. We'll pick this lap. We've got no front wing. Oh, Michelin and Bridgestone inters look different. Okay, they're both inters then. Okay. Oh, very nice line, James. We're not last. We're not far off, but we're not last. can't believe that start it put the stupid speed limiter on so i took it off and obviously i had my foot like almost down flat and that made me spin into the pits we go I mean, how long could it take them to get ready in the pits? Surely not that long. Pit stop. Turn, turn. Oh, yeah, proper good. Stay out, stay out. Have they put on... No, don't put on soft. No, no, put on uh, intermediates. Thank you. Whew. First, you want to go? You want to, you want to move? What are we waiting for? stop bug what so can i not go back out what if i pause and unpause so what do i need to just quit is that it is that the end of the race
Just restart. I can't restart. There's no restart button. So if I quit the thing, I have to do practice again and everything. What's the point, man? There is a option to remove the pit stop bug. I don't want to save because we've got a pit stop bug, right? I'm not doing qualifying again. I'm not doing qualifying again. We've got back a grid. That's it. I'm not doing qualifying again. Thomas Eng spelt wrong. Oh my gosh. Look at the rain on this one. Hard wets, they say, to start on. I have GPX patch. I, I use that. That's why I've got all the... Like the, the pause buttons and the pit lane speed limiter and all that. I got that from that, didn't I? You should look up keyboard commands for this game. I know most of them now. I know how to pause. I know how to change camera angles. I know how to look left and right. <laughs> it's fun when you're actually racing the game. It's just difficult to get to that part. Okay, we'll go for this. Try again. Why am I in Australia? Why does it keep doing this, man? This game's so confusing. Now it's Melbourne again. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. There's no back button now. So I have to load in. Why do you have to go to a game save? That doesn't make any sense. Why would I have multiple saves? Why would it unload the one I already have? Christ almighty. Yes. Yes. There we go. Where are we starting? Last. What a surprise. So how do I save the game before we start the race now? Or can I not do that? Why is it so stupidly confusing? Right, it's going to be dry for the first two-fifths of this race. Nice. And then it's going to rain. Okay. Dry race setup. Okay. Soft dries. You can save on track. Okay. I can do that. So I'll save at the start. So I can save now. No. Options. Save. Yep. Thank you. Let's get Jeff on the uh, on the phone. Oh, speed limits are good. Good point. Good point. Speed limits are off. Okay, now we're going racing. This is the real one. By sound, away we go. Yeah, we had a dream about the Malaysian Grand Prix. Nice. Uh, I'll just let them move a bit. What the hell's going on here? What the hell? Let me just have... What? How do we go further back on the replay? Honestly. 
I just want to have a look at those losers. What's Barry Keller doing? Michael Schumacher? Montoya? Okay. Oh, now I can't change the onboard's drawing pause. I could before. The pause thing's changed again. Oh, That's a shame. Back further with the F keys. Oh, I see. Give that a go next replay. I'm already up to 16th. So back to back races, the Ferraris have just spun off. Quite funny if you ask me. F4 to slow-mo, F5 to fast rewind, slow rewind. Okay, nice. I increased the replay longevity. I put it to one minute, I think. Unless it reset that as well. Got a run here on Bernoldi. He was snaking all over the place. What's he doing? Pick a side, lad. But you got him. Who's next up? Probably Jensen Button. Cool. Nice, accurate Minardi representation here today. No better sounding engine than Asia Tech. I'm not good in that middle sector, but for the first and third sectors, I'm very good compared to uh, the AI. Ralph Schumacher. Fastest lap. So is anybody here competing in the uh, the Daytona 24 on iRacing? I'm not, as you can tell. Uh, where are you going, fella? There's Montoya behind me now. I can see the Ferraris. Oh, gosh. Heck no. Not a fan of Daytona. I wish I was taking part, but... Maybe next year. Oh, you don't like multi-class racing? Fair enough. I'm uh, scared of multi-class racing. They have all other priorities, fair enough. The cow super free next week and then that's it. All done by the end of January. Montoya, you're scaring me. That's not the line. That is really not the line. Don't hit any... Body. Thank you. Just a standard little spin. Obviously, I, I literally went across the grass. I'm 
What are you doing? What are you doing, Benaldi? Yes, you're weird. You're really weird. Who's that? No! He's locked up and he's hit me. Oh, there's two cars off. It's all kicking off. What's going on? Let's test out the replay thing then. So. F Ooh. Ah, I see. Okay. So. What car was it? Was it these guys? I think it was the it was the Jaguar, wasn't it? Irvine and Villeneuve. Villeneuve to the inside. Locks his brakes. Into the back of Irvine. They both go off. Irvine decides... Let's just wait years before rejoining. The usual. So how can I go off the replay? Is there a button to just go off the replay? Where am I? Is that me? That's young. That's me. There we go. Ah, press F3. Okay, thank you. So we have to overtake button again? Or is that physicella? No, that's button, I think. In this game, the, uh, the Benetton looks too light blue. I feel like the Bennett in real life was slightly darker blue. Or maybe it's just the lighting effect. Fernando is faster than you. Oh, that's a bit deep. What a run we've got onto the main straight. Jensen Button. He's squirming all over the place. Again. What is that line, man? Why'd they go all the way over there? And I can't see him now. He's disappeared. They'll switch back. Gosh. What am I doing? Oh, I think there's been an incident ahead with somebody. Okay, further judgment of this game now after the. Uh, the issues we've been presented with today. I don't feel the amount of effort you have to put in to get it to work properly is worth it. I'm sure it's okay. But it's like the, the benefits of this game over F1 challenges, it's not much, you know? Handling probably feels a bit better. The sound is a bit better. But apart from that, It lacks in every other aspect. I think the TV camera thing is pretty cool on this, so we'll, we'll give it to that as well. If you're watching AI racing, it's probably much better because there's actually live timing. But Josh, the, the problems presented on F1 Challenge, I'd say are much easily fixed. Or you can understand them better. 
turns the buttons out of the race from an accident. Let's have a look at that replay. Like, it's just the menus are laid out so badly on this and the controls. It's so confusing. Where's button? Oh dear. Sucks to be you, bro. How do we go? Is that backwards? Was that forwards or backwards? Oh no, we're going backwards. I'm just thinking when I started playing F1 Challenge, I, n I never had an issue with getting the game to work. I never had an issue with the controls. I never had an issue with getting my, uh, my steering wheel to work correctly. And then I raced through seasons upon seasons. Mods were so easy to install, you just drag and drop. But this, I've spent hours getting the game to work. I have to turn off certain monitors for the game to get just launch. You have to keep loading your saves. And if you don't save, you can't restart. Just things I never had an issue with. Just the fact I can't have one of my monitors switched on whilst this game is open. Like the game cannot launch whilst my third monitor is plugged in. But hey, whatever. This are we still looking at what was it F3? No. How do we is it F2? Ah there we go. F2. And yet all these little plug-in add-on things, these, whatever the car set manager is, and the GPX patch, and all this just to change basic things in the game. It's not user-friendly, you know? I'm not saying it's a bad game, I'm enjoying racing it. I'm just saying it's frustrating just to get it to work properly. And I wouldn't say I'm biased towards F1 Challenge. I knew Grand Prix 4 way before I knew what F1 Challenge was. I used to watch Grand Prix 4 videos on, on YouTube back in the day. But. There's a reason I tried to play Grand Prix 4, didn't work, tried to play F1 Challenge, worked, and then I stuck with F1 Challenge. Only Grand Prix 5 was a thing. Oh gosh, a bit wide. I've not played GP3 or GP2, so I can't comment on those ones. I suppose F1 Challenge was rushed, wasn't it, as well? That's why they couldn't include safety cars and red flags and all that. I suppose, oh, I've not really, I've not experienced wet racing yet, so I'll have to reserve judgment for that one. I've driven in the wet in qualifying in Australia. That was quite fun. But to be fair, this game is it's probably more enjoyable just driving than F1 Challenge. I've never really enjoyed driving on F1 Challenge. 
I've only really played F1 Challenge because there's nothing better out there for what I want to do, which is career modes. I think the circuits are better in this game as well. They look more accurate. The tyres look better in this game. Obviously, all the mechanical failures and the, the fact that marshals recover cars, that's infinitely better. Got lag. Hello everybody just joining. Drive to Kumasato's Jordan. It's one thousand four hundred and fifty pound. But that's that would be fun. Physicella locking up ahead. Drivers kind of disappear off the screen um, when they get to like the extremities of each side of the screen. I don't know if that's because the game is made by for four by three, and I'm running it in widescreen. Of course, we'll have an um, F1 Challenge career tomorrow. It'll, it'll be quite early in the morning, though, because I have work at 2 p.m. That's another game I'd like to play, Grand Prix Legends. Fix the pit stop call problems. As it, uh, yeah, yeah, we, I zoomed out a bit so I can see when we've actually got a pit stop requested. Am I getting lapped already or is that for position behind me? Work. Oh, I'm just working at pizza delivery, you know, to uh, support my studies, my university studies. I got my marks back for a, a podcast assignment I did the other week. And I honestly did not spend much time on it at all. But it was a good mark, so. Hey, Scott. He was a horrible delivery driver. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I'm not the, not that quick, but it doesn't really matter. So I think this this is all for position for thirteenth place. Benetton, Minardi, Ferrari. Looks it looks to be Barrichello behind. I hope he doesn't hit me. It's quite silly. I, I, I Let's say I do a three hour sim racing sesh and then I'll go and deliver pizzas for seven hours. I'm not even that big, big a fan of driving. Ah, oh, locked up now. Is that Ferrari on my inside? No. Surprising. I say pizza time and delivering. I'm honestly too scared. I really want to say it. Half the people I delivered to wouldn't even get the reference. Oh, he's just gone back to the outside.
I'm not paying for Yeah, pizza time. I'm not paying for these. I'm both putting pressure on Fisichella and being put under pressure. Hera Foxy, probably. As long as I still enjoy playing, you know. We know there's going to be rain in this race. Before the halfway point. Oh, it, I think it's just started raining. Lol, as I said that. Let's hope we don't get that pit stop bug. I didn't restart the game to fix it. People call this the true last F1 sim. I don't think I agree with that. I know people, some people say that, but... Yellow flags. Is that a uh, slow salber? Not answering that question. <laughs> oh dear. Still ahead of the Ferrari. Tell the I'd like to tell them to prepare them, but I don't think that's an option. I have to decide when I'm in the pits as far as I'm aware. Can I do the same for GP4? I have no idea, mate. Honestly, this is the second time I've ever played this game. The sky looks quite nice. The scenery around the circuit looks quite nice as well. Has he gone for it? Oh, I thought he went for it then. I think he backed out. Okay, it stopped raining now. He's gone for it. What's my opinion on Steam DMs? Hate them. I'm going to stick with him. Oh, look at Barrichello. You're going to go for the move? Kind of. Oh, I broke really late there. Barrichello's up the inside. Made the position. So Barrichello's recovered to 13th. Wow. That's really impressive. Do 
Yeah, I set it to classic or digi- uh, What did I set it to? Classic or digital? Because by default, it was already on like the 2014 overlay, which I hate. Oh dear. Nice and wide. Did he have an accident? Yeah, both Ferraris did. Both went off at the first corner. I've already done 24 hour races in the past. I've done one. I did a Le Mans 24 in uh, 2019 on R Factor 2. Ooh. Finished fourth. Which one's the 2014 one? I, it's hard to explain. It's just. Uh, I just don't like it. We technically qualified eighth, but then we had to restart the game. Well, restart the race, so we qualified last. I hate how they do that. Why'd they do that? Stick to your line, man. Have I tried race room? Yeah. I hate the handling model on it. Feels, in my opinion, disgusting. But that's just my opinion. Really did not like the handling model on race room. We did, we qualified, well, we qualified eighth, but then we had to start again. Oh dear. Business model with a lot of racing games now is just... You know, content packs, spend more money, get a track, spend more money, get a couple cars. To the outside? No. I should just go to the inside, right. Note to self, just go to the inside. Oh, be very slow there, mate. Bloody hell. Take attack mode this lap. We got fan boost. Yeah, I don't. I, for some reason, I don't want to use an emulator. Like, I don't know. Something puts me off about wanting to use like a PS2 or a PS3 emulator. Don't know what it is. Okay, we got him in this next lap. Definitely. That's a much better braking. Might get him here. An emulator is like a virtual emulation of a uh, usually an older console or gaming system. So you can play like PS2 on PC, for example. So we go for the move. He breaks later than me, but we got the position. And that's us into 14th. Riken an 8.3 ahead. 7.2 now, wow. Let's see how fast we are in clean air. If I was to play any like PS2 or PS3 games, I'd rather just get the console. 
and then play it that way. Order for catching. So it's eight point was it eight point three the last time across the line? Seven point zero, yeah, we're catching. We're catching pretty quick. Six point five. I always lose time in the middle sector. Still no sign of the rain. All right, Josh. See you, mate. A bit wide there. Maybe Kimi has an engine issue. Or, maybe Fernando Alonso is just the best driver ever. I really lost a lot of time there in the middle sector. We've still got 13 laps of fuel. So yeah, we could stay out for a very long time. Six point six, we're still catching. I like Valtteri Bottas, I don't know why. He replied to me on Twitter once, seven years ago. So he's like my best friend. Yellow flag? Was that? Yellow flag for something. Green now. Why do I keep going wide there? I'm sure it wasn't Battery Volta, yes. It was 2016 and Baltas was doing a Q&A. So he said, ask me anything. And I said, how long do you spend away from home each year? Or no, or something like, how much time do you spend at home each year? And he said, not so much. Full stop. He's the best driver in the world. Oh, massive lockup. That was a really messy lap, so we actually lost three tenths. Yeah, a Finn hosting a uh, a Q and A. It's never going to last long. Isn't there rumours every year that Ferrari's new car is going to be better and faster than last year's car? One second worth of lap time, sure. 
Sure they have. Why would you claim that anyway? Why would you say, yes, we have farmed a whole second worth of lap time. The competition is going to be obliterated. Broke a bit too early there. De La Rosa is the next car ahead now. Oh, he's in the pits. Ralph Schumacher in the pits. That's the leader. Oh dear. Still catching Raikkonen. That's steady pace. Jean Lazy is in the pits. I know if I if if I was Ferrari, I wouldn't tell anybody I'd have a good I have a good car. I don't want to get everybody's hopes up, just for them to be disappointed. Shauna Lacey. <laughs> Sean Lacey's wife, Shauna Lacey. Five point six. Ties are I feel like they're they're wearing quite a bit now. Hyper strap for the wet period. Okay, go on then. Let's hear it. Enrique Bernaldi in. I can see Heidfeld. I can see him. Just about. What's the gap? 5.6 again. So we go straight to the hard wets instead of the inters. Okay. How good was Nick Heidfeld? The best. That nah, is he's good. That's about it. Good, I'd say. Yeah, good question. Why hard wets, not soft wets?
Lots of drivers pitting this lap. We've still got nine laps of fuel. Heidfeld or Hulkerberg? Heidfeld, I'd say. Drivers coming out of the pits. Pablo Montoya ahead. <laughs> That's funny. Pablo, Pablo Montoya. F1 car in year would James Early be great in? 2023. Rookie James Early, who has had no experience in real single-seater cars, jumps into Formula 1 for his debut season. Heidfeld or a lazy? Heidfeld. Hello, Brett. Welcome to the stream. Midland 2006. Oh, yeah. Rubens Barrichello into the pits. We're going to move up above the Ferrari again. Friends and also into the pits. We're going to gain a few positions, I think. Well, at least we should do. Yeah, we do. We're into 11th. The F1 Arcade, yes, I've seen that. I was trying to work out what they were running. Apparently, they're running a. Uh, Modified version of R Factor 2. So have fun with that. Maybe I'll have to get a few drinks down you beforehand. <laughs> I don't really race online that much, Brett. To be fair, if when it comes to leagues, I like leagues, but I don't have the time to commit to uh, you know practicing and racing. I can't commit to specific times of the week. Because of university and work and all that. Oh, it's Thomas Eng out. Oops. Montoya is 3.7. Are we catching Montoya? Surely he's getting held up. Unless he's very heavy. David Coulthard, race leader into the pits. Zichella into the pits as well. That would be so cool. Imagine being rich enough to have your own like fully fledged arcade with all your, your favourites. That'd be cool. I want to be rich enough to have loads of F1 car models in a massive display case. Oh, 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh no, oh no, oh no. Have I be have I beached it? No, we're okay. Brilliant. Just like you, Aaron, exactly. Daytona USA, I've played that. Need the sound bites from Twitch. See, I've th thought about that before, but I'd rather not. Only because I like using these videos and editing them down for, let's say, highlights or whatever. And if half the highlights have me screaming in the background. Damn, what's happened to the car? I suppose I could, Tom, but it'll still appear on screen. I'd still react to it. Favourite movie? Um, Back to the Future 1, I like. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I really like. Um, I recently watched... What's it called? It's a movie about detention. I forgot what it's called. You guys all know it. Forgot what it's called. Anyway, that's good. Shawshank Redemption, I quite like. Oh, gosh. Breakfast Club, that's it, yeah. Uh, what else do I like? Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith is one of my favourites. The Truman Show. That's pretty good. Still no sign of rain. I was holding out for, his, for some point to at least see some rain so we could put onto the, at least the intermediates. Who's behind me now? That's Barry Kello. Taxi Driver. I've only watched the first half of it. I never actually got around to watching the second half. It's okay. I didn't really get the hype about it. Well, James likes acting Emma Day. Oh, I hate those soap shows. The Emoji Movie. Oh, gosh. Terminator 2, that's good. I'm one of those weirdos who liked Terminator Salvation. You know, that 2008 one, I think it came out. Everybody else hated it, but I think it's because I was a child when I watched it. I remember that one, Arrow. I've seen that. Okay, we're putting it at the end of this lap. Stay out, stay out. In, 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 in. No, stay out, stay out, stay out. I'll just fuel to the end. I might as well. We're already more than halfway through the race. 
I'm in a Ferrari sandwich as well. In 10th place. What's everybody's favourite movie of last year? That you watched last year? Maybe for the first time. Uh, yeah, I think it's Engine Temp, yeah. The Batman, 100%. That's, that's decent. I'd give it uh, maybe an 8 out of 10. Oh, it's just started raining, man! Oh. It just started raining. I saw rain. It's very faint. Oh, dear. We're 15th place as well. It did seem quite a slow stop. Puss in boots. <laughs> oh dear. But I think it stopped raining again. Dune, the new version. That was okay. I watched that in cinemas as well. We did overfuel, but it's so difficult to change everything on, on the spot in the pits. It's annoying that you can't do it before. Top Gun Maverick. Still not seen it. I've seen clips of it. Yeah, it stopped raining already. It was like the tiniest bit of rain. But I was stopped in the pits. Gosh. This car's an absolute boat now. This race, I think, has 56 laps. We're lap 30 right now. In a Jaguar sandwich now. I think Eddie Irvine's behind. De La Rosa in front. Or at least it was De La Rosa. Oh, yeah, it does say 56 lap race right in front. To be fair, I didn't even notice that. There's still 21 runners in this Grand Prix. We had loads of retirements in Australia. Not so many today. Gosh. That means I'm ahead of at least six drivers. Seven. Oh yeah, I've jinxed it now. Time for an Alonso mechanical failure. I'm yet to have any mechanical failure. We had a mechanical issue in... Uh Australia, the electrical issue, which is really cool. That's such a cool feature. You can pit to repair, well, replace a, the steering wheel. You are the Batman. <laughs> I am the Batman. De La Rosa six seconds ahead. Let's uh, monitor that that gap.
5.4 now. That's good. Saved. Got blue flags now. <laughs> Is this first and second place, or...? I think it's hacking him behind. I'll let him through on the back straight. Or maybe before them, because I've got no grip. Go on. Oh wait, is this for position? Was that for position? Oh gosh. I think it was for position, yeah. No, no, it's not for position. What's going on here? Oh my gosh. Cool, nice. <laughs> I wonder what position that was for. Can we have a look? Um, let's see a replay of that first. How do we do it? F5 to go back? Uh, aha! See, it's raining apparently on the main monitor. It was hacking it and a lazy for third place. Schumacher in the lead, Coulthard second. Oh dear. They'll be okay. They'll carry on. It looks like it's absolutely throwing it down on, on the uh, the TV camera. But I don't see any rain in the actual... On board, you know? Hmm. Interesting. Jamendo Erlonzo. Nice. Off the hook. <laughs> That's off the hook, man. How am I doing? Pretty good. How about you? How are you? Now we have the BAR of somebody behind me something interesting going on i suppose it's been kind of interesting it's been relatively interesting there's been a few bits of drama here and there So in the rain, sorry, in the rain there's replay. In the replay there's rain, but in the cockpit, live, there is no rain. So that confirms that whenever you look at replays of anything, it's an alternate reality, an alternate universe, and you're actually just watching it live. Really miss my Williams car. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Was that was that blue flags anyway? No, no, that's for position, okay. Cool.
gosh. Dirty air, causing the car to feel very, very unstable under braking. Go to inter tyres. But there is the rain. I'm so confused. The track feels fine. So you guys trying to tell me it's raining right now? Even though I don't see any rain. And there's blue skies. And I'm getting blue flags? For who? Looks like there's a Jaguar behind. Surely I'm not getting lapsed by a Jaguar. Or is that a uh, McLaren? I can't really tell. Oh, it is a McLaren. Oh, of course it's Hakkinen. Back again. I'll let him through on this straight. There he goes. I can see a little bit of rain now. Second blue, ease off the power and move over till you are past. Thank you, F1 challenge, Jeff. Why are you guys telling me to box? I'm so confused. How's the handling compared to earlier? Handling's fine. It's Seth. Oh, people keep saying it's Seth. I'll just call him Jeff anyway. Don't pit until you see spray. Copy that. Roger, roger. Backseat gaming, I know. Imagine if you guys could like type exclamation mark pit and it just requests a pit for me. Exclamation mark hard tires just puts hard tires on. Hands are for amateurs. Professionals do it no handed. Wait, what are we talking about? We're talking about driving, right? So lazy. The lazy's behind me. I'll let him through here. Yep, no. I'll let him go to the inside if he wants it. Jedi driving. Use the force, Fernando. Beautiful corner. I feel like I'm nowhere near the pace I was setting before the pits, though. I suppose that's fuel level. And maybe other people are on a two-stop. 
I've done it again. I just can't get a handle of that. That corner. Okay, I see a bit more rain now. Yeah, yeah, everything's foggy in the distance. Do we pit now? Do I pit? Box, yeah? Stay out? Okay, I'll stay out. I'll stay out. Hasso keeps saying box, box. Although Hasso has been saying that for like 10 laps. In, 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 in. No, stay out, stay out, stay out. And when I get into the pits, I have to be really quick and change the tyres. The rain stopped again. Or is it localised to certain areas of the circuit? Can I pause the game and change the strategy? Not that I know of. You're the strategist, mate. Box next lap. Yeah, it seems the third sector is where it's actually raining. You might not be able to see it on stream. It's very, very faint. But definitely down this back straight, it's raining. I'm staying out. I mean, nobody else is pitting, so what's the point? Oh, never mind, they're all pitting. Well, one person is. A Jordan. I wonder what tyres they'll go on to. Jean Alesi is in the pits. We'll bit deep into that. Turn four. Yeah, we'll have a look at the lazy in a second. Imagine how hype it would be if a new game, let's say a new version of Grand Prix came. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But like an equivalent. It was a, a simulator, Formula One style. All these cool features that we've had in the past. And I was streaming it. We're all here enjoying a new game. That'd be really cool. Too bad that never happens. I'm going to pause and have a look at what a lazy's on. iRacing is apparently in introducing their changeable weather system this year. Be nice. Finally. Where is he? That's him. He's on softs or hards. Whatever they are, the dries. What have I just done? That's a replay. That pauses. Is that... What am I looking at now? Is this a replay? I'm so confused. Why am I on lap 21? Now I'm on lap 39. Press N. Press F2. I did. It just goes here. That's paused. That's live. Well, no. This is live. What? That's so confusing. Let me look at the, uh, the standings. Current race positions. Ralph leads. David second. Big Hacken in third. Trolley. Alasi's down to sixth now. No Ferraris in the points. 
Michael Schumacher 8th, Rubens Barrichello 9th. They'll become YouTubers and live in, this, in the same house. That's pretty cool. Nice of you to flex that you have friends. <laughs> Kimi Raikkonen outside the top 10. Fernando Alonso 15th. We're ahead of Irvine, Verstappen, Fisichella, Thomas Eng spelt wrong, Alex Young and Enrique Bernaldi. Button's the only driver out. Okay. I can't believe I accidentally simulated back 18 laps. Okay, we are back. It's very cloudy at this part of the circuit, but that's it. De La Rosa five seconds ahead right now. Not sure if we've been catching. Skill issue. Thank you, Keshwan. Well, that's valuable comment we are catching I can see him he's right there De La Rosa is ahead he's right in front of you copy that Jeff Go for the gap, but you no longer... What, into this final corner? Go for the gap. The greatest dive bomb ever seen in Formula 1. How many laps left? 16. Don't go for a gap, you no longer exist. <laughs> Instantly disappears. I disappear from this chair. The stream's still going on. Maybe that's an idea for a uh, an April Fool's joke. No, in, in racing games, I'd rather... The competitors... Nah, I'm not a fan, honestly. Mainly because when I'm playing racing games, I'm usually streaming them or recording. I'd like to commentate myself. Ah, yes. Remember the day that the Minardi driver just disappeared. He went for a gap that no longer existed. <laughs> that would be such a cool thing to put on your, like, a, a headstone when you die. James Early. 
Went for a gap that no longer existed. Rest in peace. James Early. Thought he was a racing driver. Went for the gap. Now he's dead. How do you define gap? <laughs> That's Senna. So how do you define gap? Can I fit my car there? No. But I'm going to do it anyway. Wolf, honestly, just make whatever you enjoy making. That's, that's basically it. And if you want to grow, just make TikToks, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels. Short form content directs viewers to your long form content. I think in marketing terms, the realist, oh, I forgot what it's called. What's the term? Where to get a, um, a customer, in this case, I assume a subscriber, the average contact number is in like how many times they come in contact with your content it's between six or seven i don't know what that's like for youtube content depends on uh, what sort of videos you're making i suppose we are close to going for the gap If I speak, I am in trouble. Oh no! Anyway. It's a stupid corner. I keep turning in too early. It's my own fault, I know. And now I can't drive. I've lost all talent. All talent has disappeared. You had a ten pound bet on me. Oh gosh. Jose, that's a great idea. I'll make a bingo card. There's a bit of moisture on last turn. It's, cl it's definitely clouding up a bit more, I think. And there's so many marbles on the circuit in at this part. It's really strange. Or is that rain? It looks like marbles. Unless that's what rain looks like. That's water. Oh, I thought it was like marbles. Okay. Surely not enters yet. So this is rain as well. The marbles are rain. Yeah. The grip's getting uh, less and less. What was that lap time? 41.2. It's bone dry at this part. could be hail yeah it's only game why i have to be mad 
Even this part is a bit damp now. No spray. Just damp. Undercut them. I don't trust myself. Why is everybody suddenly calling me early instead of James? I have a first name. Georgie boy. Okay, my name's Georgie now. To be fair, my nickname in school was always early. Everybody called me early because I was loads of Jameses. Go for the gap between the raindrops. Oh, just about oh, there. Shall we go for it? No. I don't have the confidence. Oh, is that smoke? Oh no, it's 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 wet! It's rain! Or has everybody just instantly got engine failures? Right, we're pitting this lap. Right? It's only that part of the circuit. Literally two corners. <laughs> I still don't think it's worth pitting. It's literally two corners. Follow what the AI do. Yeah, that's, that's the best practice. I've, I've done it again. That stupid corner. Concentrate, James. Sorry, I mean concentrate Alonso. Am I racing this arrows for position? Instant wet weather. They're all staying out. I'm staying out. It's been oldie. Oh, I'm lapping him. <laughs> I can't see the rain falling at all. To me, it looks bone dry. Now it's wet at this part of the circuit. Maybe this lap we pit? Shall I request the pit? I've got one requested. No? Is that bad? Oh, guys, you're sending me so many mixed signals. Saved. So I don't request it. Okay, fine, I'll unrequest it. Blue flag. I think it's the leader behind me, Ralph. Or oh, is that Mon I think that's Montoya? Nobody else is pitting. Oh, I've got blue flags again. Go.
each lap, slightly more of the circuit is wet. Hey, Palmer. How you doing? How's it going? It's going decent. We've had a few spins. The hyper strap. I just don't see any rain. I just see the spray. Okay. We've got a pit, surely. I'm requesting a pit. There's not much grip there at all. Don't pit! What do you mean, don't pit? Fine, one more lap. I'll just do one more lap. Every part of the circuit is at least damp. Okay, if the AI pit this lap, I'm pitting. No, they're not pitting. I'm staying out. What the hell's going on here? I say it's got to be intermediate tyres, though, yeah. The thing is, somebody told me I have to like, request a pit like two laps in advance, so it's hard to do. Is that young? Yes, it is. Lapping my teammate. So all of this section of the circuit is wet. Not much grip here. At all. I still have a pit stop requested. Oh dear, poor Jaguar. Thanks for the position. You're very slow. No! The whole of the middle sector is wet. That's the most crucial sector. I don't want to spin, you know, I don't want to... I don't want it to get to a point where I'll start spinning and crashing. It's still not pit. I mean, YOLO would be staying out, honestly. Yeah, I'm not seeing, still not seeing any rain actually fall. Nobody else is pitting. The rain's invisible. Oh, brilliant. Why would they pit to not spin? Surely. Or you get to a point where the, it's the crossover time. You're going to make up the time in five laps. Gosh. Very wet here. Who said to stay out? Gosh. Lost two positions. There's a dry line forming. Brilliant, that's the time I spin.
There's no grip whatsoever. It's too late to box now. We know it's just going to get drier now. I have to lap Bernoldi and Marquez again. Oh, brilliant. No, just make contact with me. Very cool. Jesus. I'm getting lapped by a Jordan. Got no grip. I have to dry and track fix an A, but I believe so, yeah. Box, I will overtake them all. I won't. I'll be like five seconds up faster. That's it. But I'm going to lose 30 seconds in the pits. And we've got, what, four laps to go? Because I'm a lap down. Two laps down. Oh, Tom, I thought you'd be serious. Like, there was a fix or something. I thought oh, I probably got it on. Gosh. Bernoldi's back to lap, unlap himself. No, he's not there. Don't know where he is. Oh, he's there. Never mind. What? Literally looked right to see if there was a car there. Looked in my mirrors. Nobody there is in my blind spot. Thanks. Brilliant. Can I go back? How do I go back? Genuinely, could not see him there. Oh, wow. I think it's time to pit. <laughs> oh, dear. Look at my car. <laughs> oh, brilliant. All right, into the pits we go. So what do I put on? Inters? I'll put Inters on. Let's just give them a go. Five laps of fuel into tyres. Well, I don't need any laps of fuel, actually. So we're into the pits. Uh, inters. Fuel. Go down. Go down. Apparently, I can't add less. Cool. Let's go. Oh. Fantastic. And that is the end of of the race. Somebody said earlier there's a it's a pit stop bug or something. I need to enable a fix for it. Can I drive? No. Brilliant. So what? Did we just retire? That's the end. I mean, we were literally like five laps away from the... I can't gear. It won't let me gear. Spectator mode. Okay. Who's first? David Coulthard. 
Nice. Barrichello's a lap down. Ralph in second. Who's third? Oh, Fernando Alonso. Wow. Mick Hakkinen in third. Thomas Eng spelt wrong. Jean Alesi in fourth. Oh, am I enjoying the game so far? Hmm. Not sure, Santiago. Not sure. Michael Schumacher's in the points. Heidfeld's in the points as well. Where am I? Sorry. Where am I? Ugh. It's okay. It's an okay game. It's average. There's some good bits about it, but it kind of ruins itself with all this stuff. It's a shame. Anyway. Uh, accelerated time, I suppose. And here's the full race results. Circuit record. Can I see the, the fastest lap? Was that the fastest lap of the race? Oh, I'm not sure. Go back. Okay. David Coulthard wins. Ralph second. Hakkinen on the podium. Two McLarens on the podium then. John Lazy, brilliant. Fourth. Michael Schumacher recovers to fifth. Hydeville getting a point in sixth place. Down to seventh. Rumors Barrichello down at eighth. A lap down. That's Panis, Montoya, Raikkonen, and Villeneuve. Fenton and Irvine. Jos Verstappen, 15th. That's De La Rosa. This is where we should have been, maybe 15th place. Fernando Alonso, 21st, and he's finished behind his teammate. Jensen Button last, didn't finish. That's what all it says, didn't finish. What a shame. What a shame. Oh, well. Uh, continue. So, Mika Hakkinen has 14 points. Coulthard in second place. Only, you can only see six drivers? Oh, right. Drivers' Championship. Nine drivers have scored points. What do the constructors look like? McLaren lead pretty convincingly right now. Not bad. Okay. If I say next Grand Prix and then save, is that is that a thing I can do? Options. Save. No, I cannot save. Leave event. Save. Yes. Okay. Saved. I've saved it. We've done it. That's the end of the race, guys. It's the end of the stream. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying... It is what it is. I'm going to go and get ready to go and deliver some pizzas now. You guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next stream. Which will be... Not Grand Prix 4. <laughs> It'll be F1 Challenge. I'll see you all then. Goodbye.